Hi guys, so I was going to do a um, end of October Fobo Nietzsche flip through when the mailman knocked on my door. I wasn't planning on doing this video today, um, but instead of doing the Fobo Nietzsche flip through first, I'm actually going to do a what's in my pencil case is, because I have several now, um, but before I do that, the reason why I had to stop and not do my Fobo Nietzsche was because I received a package today from Korea Post um, and I'm super excited. I ordered these on eBay and they are supposedly really good pens for doing your Fobo Nietzsche. Now I haven't opened them. You can see the package is still sealed up. So you're going to hear some crinkling because I'm going to open these and then we're going to kind of swatch them and then I'm going to talk about the rest of my pencil cases. So give me one moment. I ordered nine pens. They uh, were like 87 cents a piece or something, American, and um, they're supposedly really good, really good pens and they came from Seoul, South Korea. So, so yeah. Now these are called um, Donga Fine Tech Pens and this is what it looks like. Let me turn it over so you can see. Um, Donga five, Fine Tech Pens and then that's the barrel is very thin. It's an ultra fine pen and this one is called Wine Black so it's kind of a plum color. And that's what it looks like on a piece of paper. So that's the wine black. It's a very fine line. Love it. And I do have my Fobonichi here. This is a pretty thick kind of cardstock. Um, and I purchased these because I'm hoping that they don't shadow. Um, so let me grab a piece of, let me just open up to the back of my Fobonichi, my Fobonichi here and um, I'm going to draw, I'll write on this, okay, so I wrote on it, the quick brown fox, and you guys are going to see this as I see it, so this is the page, flipping it over, and no bleed through, not even a shadow. So there is from where I pressed a little hard, but it's perfect. It's perfect. So I'm super excited that they are working out for me because that was, we'll talk about that in my pencil thing. So I got the wine black. Um, this is a red brown. This is vermilion. It's kind of that corally orange pink color. Um, this is khaki, and I don't feel like this is khaki so much as it's kind of like a, um, an okra kind of color. Then I got lavender, and that's the actual color on the pen lid. I got coral pink, violet. This is emerald green, and I feel like this is probably not emeraldy, but it's a pretty green color. I like it. And then I also got light violet. So there's the violet and the light violet together. And they're very pretty colors. I do like that. So um, those are the new pens that I got, and I have to find a place for those now, um, for my Fobonichi. So since I'm going to do this uh, what's in my pencil case thing that everybody keeps talking about, um, I should tell you that right now I have about, well, including the new pens now, I will have five pencil cases. 
and I'm constantly moving things around because I use different pens for different things. I use certain pens for my Erin Condren. I have some colored pencils that I use for my Faux Bonici as well as now these pens. I have some flares. I have some zebra, z-tipped um, pens. And then I also have the Sharpie Ultra Fines. Now the Sharpie Ultra Fines I mostly use with my Random Acts of Kindness groups on the um, Project Life cards or I use them in either my Erin Condren or my Fobonichi if I'm writing on a card stock type thing because they do bleed through and apparently none of the stores in my area sells the Sharpie No Bleeds so um, until I can get online and order some of those from somewhere that's what I'm using. So I'm going to start with my first pencil case. This is the one that I've had for about five years now. Um, and it just looks like this. And you might have seen these. This was from Walmart. I see a lot of kids using them now for like eyeglass cases too. So, But it's a pencil case. And I keep my Sharpie Ultra Fines in here. And I can keep nine Ultra Fines in here. So I've got three that are not in here, but um, I can keep nine Ultra Fines in here, and this is super convenient. I Sometimes when I travel, I'll take pens out, and I will put other pens in, and this can stay in my purse, and it doesn't get crushed, so I don't have to worry about the pen breaking or leaking anywhere. So these are my Sharpie Ultra Fines in all their little colors, um, and I, I believe that this was a... I think I already said this. This was a 12 pack of the Sharpie Ultra Fines I got for $6 at Walmart. Um, so that is the purple one that I carry in my purse most of the time um, when I have my my Erin Condren or any cards or anything like that that I want to jot notes on. Um, the second one is this little owl. It has a little owl tag on it. And it's just a little owl pencil case. Walmart had these. Um, it's from fashionstationery.com and Walmart had these for a dollar in their clearance section after school um, started back up. These were I think normally $3.97 and after school started back up they had huge bins in their lawn and garden center and these were in the dollar bin. So I got this for a dollar. Well my girlfriend got it for a dollar for me because she knows I'm obsessed with owls right now. Now this is the one that I use for my colored pencils. So all of my colored pencils are in there and I'm not going to pull them out. Um, I am using the Crazy Art colored pencils right now and I'm getting ready to, today as a matter of fact, go get some Crayola colored pencils. Um, I hear that they're a little bit better than the Crazy Art, so we'll see. And then I also keep my pencil sharpener in there as well. And there's plenty of room in here. Um, still, if I wanted to just take this, I could throw some pens in here, I could throw um, some washi in here, or my um, deco runners, or my double sided tape, anything like that, and I could just take this if I wanted to. So, if you guys have seen my Erin Condren flip through where I um, de spiraled my Erin Condren and put it in my Franklin Covey, then you've already seen that pencil case and it's just the normal flat plastic pencil case that comes with your Erin Condren and there's also a Franklin Covey pencil case in there, the clear that, zip, that just presses closed like a Ziploc type thing. Um, so I'm not going to pull that out. I keep my Z-tops in there as a, for the most part. But the one that I want to talk to, this isn't actually a pencil case but that's what I'm using it for. Um, about five years ago when I was at community college, I would get really bored between classes. There was no point in me driving 20 minutes home just to be home for 15 minutes and drive 20 minutes back. So my husband, being the amazing man that he is, and I love him, he is so good to me, um, purchased a Nintendo 3DS for me and it came in a case, a kind of hard case. And now that I'm no longer in school and I'm working full time, my Nintendo 3DS sits on my nightstand so I can play Plants vs. Zombies at night, my favorite game. And um, I do have a crossword game as well that he and I will play together. So it just it stays plugged in on my nightstand. So I wasn't really using the case for anything. And here's the case. 
and you can see it says Nintendo 3DS and it's a hard case okay and it just has this really nice thick zipper on it so I use this let me open this up make sure I don't none of my pens fall out um, so I use this and I put pens on this side this is a um, just a little elastic pouch here that you would normally slide your 3DS into or any cleaning things or anything like that um, and I just use it for pens now so these are my Papermate ink joy pens in here and then you can see I also have a couple of the Sharpie Ultra Fines that I couldn't fit in my other paper, my other pencil case. So um, these are my favorite colored ones and a black one. So I just keep those in there. And then it has this little flippy thing here. So on this side, I just keep my flares on this side. And they fit great. You can see I'm going to let that go and hopefully nothing falls out and makes a big noisy mess but my flares fit great in here and then they're all in one spot so that is how I'm storing my pens guys and um, if you guys have any suggestions on another way I do have a um, makeup brush I like a rolling case for my makeup brushes um, I used to do makeup outside of my home or outside of my schooling and I would go to someone's house and I would keep them on these, um, this rolling makeup case. It was just like a leather pouch that you close over, roll it up, tie it off. And I am considering using that for my very favorite pens that I use all the time to keep with my Fobonichi. So if I try that out, I will show you guys. But um, if you guys have any suggestions, then definitely let me know. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I'm storing my pencils and my pens, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.